Welcome back, I'm Cynical Siebel. This is my holiday gaming marathon, and this is Gift Keeper. I don't know anything about it, but let's dive into it and figure it out. Alright, level 1, target, gingerbread 12, gift 5, candy 12. So it looks like I'm trying to collect things. Do I just click on them? Oh, gotta kill the gingerbread, okay. And get candy, okay. I'm protecting these bags in the middle, got it. Ah, die! Alright. So I crush them, I get the candy, and you just make sure that you're keeping track of everybody that's rushing in. Don't lose the candy though, because sometimes you can forget. Oh, don't take my candy, no! Get out of here, get out of here! Ooh. Okay. Whew! Alright, three stars, perfect. Not too bad, and I like the music in the background. The art style's beautiful. It looks like it's a fairly simple game, right? But those can be fun too, just a relaxing little puzzle game. Not even puzzle game, arcade game. You just click on the baddies, keep your stuff safe. Hey, what's that? Get out of here. It's like a guy, a marionette. I wonder if it tracks my accuracy, because I kind of just spam the click. I don't always get where I want to be. Oh. Oh, can I charge up my, my hit? Oh, look at that. If you charge up your hit, I think it's stronger. So you can do little hits like that. But that stuns them, which is good, right? So you can either stun them right away. Whoa, I thought I had him, but... No! Oh no, that's not going well. No, I gotta get him before he gets my stuff. Hey, get back here! Get back here! Get back here! Get back here! No! Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, man. Whew! Well... Perfect, but only barely. I almost lost it a few times. All right, we're gonna peek at the next level, and then we might call it quits here. Oh, I can upgrade stuff. Oh, this is interesting. Well, I only have 1,600, but this definitely makes things uh, more interesting. I don't know what I would do with this. Interesting. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually pause it here, and I'm gonna grind a little bit, and uh, then play. And so after grinding a little bit, I will come back and show you what it's like then. All right, see you in a minute. All right, I've done a bit of grinding and now we're gonna buy this upgrade. So these, it looks like they're inside of gifts as you do things, so I assume this makes it more powerful. Hopefully that's what it is. Uh, so these ones, you can get them as power-ups, but they're only intermittent. So we'll see. So these, see these presents over here? This is what has the weapons in them, like that slingshot, but they don't last that much. So we need to use traps, we need to get the marionettes, and we need to get the gifts. So you wanna kinda pre-open these a little bit so that you can have them when you need to. I guess since it is part of the score, we should probably use the trap, huh? Alright. And you can also charge that up to do like a mega hit there. Alright, let's uh, use all the traps. Okay, we set all the traps. Give this guy a big old smack. Also, when they're on top of each other, you can kind of like double hit people. I don't get why the traps aren't working. It seems like they're running right through them, but maybe they're just very particular about where they go. Maybe I need to move them somewhere else, I don't know. One went though. And if you don't collect all the candy, you won't get the three stars. They want you to get every last piece of candy to get three stars, which has been a bit of a, just hard given how many things are going on on the screen. Sometimes it's hard to tell where candy is and you miss it. Also, if you kill things toward the edge, sometimes it's hard to see the candy, right? But, that time it worked. Three traps. Alright, so it was nice that uh, my candy cane was so much stronger, and I got a lot of loot that round. Uh, you know, just because we have it, let's upgrade these guys right here. Uh, I mean, I don't know how much I'm going to use those, but, you know, let's try it. So, cake bomb combo gift. Alright. we got to open up these gifts. Smack that guy. All right, so we've got a bunch of cake bombs around here. Let's uh, let's use them. Ooh, nice. Okay, so it looks like there's a timer on them, so they can't they can't just be used immediately. You got to kind of plan it out so that you can set it down. Ugh, man, it's hard to pick them up. Uh, I don't know why. It, it's just very particular about where where you are when you get it. Now the gingerbread men, while they're not very strong, they are fast, right? All right, the bombs are nice. I mean, it's a good way to to make a lot of things die all at once, right? Like that. 
So I'm enjoying the mechanics. They've definitely layered in different things. You can upgrade different things. It's a lot of fun. Now, I mean, it's not the most, you know, crazy game in existence by any means. It's, it's very one note, but it seems to be done well and I'm enjoying it. It's definitely, you know, hack and slash button masher sort of thing, but that's not always bad either. All right, I think this is probably the last of them. Let's check. I don't know if I got it all. Oh yeah, I didn't, so I missed a, it looks like a couple of my gifts got stolen, probably by those marionette guys, because those are pretty hard. But you can just go through, you can level up your stuff as you go along, which is a lot of fun. So, this seems like a solid game. If you like these sorts of arcade games where you just have to kind of hack and slash and mash, then check out Gift Keeper. It seems like a solid one, and I've been enjoying it. All right, but as always, I've been Sin Placebo. If this isn't your jam, come on back later, because I've been playing different holiday games practically every hour, and I'm bound to have one that you're going to like. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.